Hello and welcome back to Kerno EXP. Today we're down somewhere a bit different today, yes. So we are in West Cornwall and we are a stone's throw from St Just in West Cornwall. And uh, we're here to do a walking video today and uh, a small little drone flight back at the end. So. This valley here is steeped in mining history, as you can see by the engine house just over there. So, welcome back folks. Now, we're going to go for a walk here. We're going to have a look at some mining history. So let's go, shall we? Now, I will confess, I don't know all there is to know about this valley. Um, so, we're going to have to probably research some of this afterwards after the fact fact so anyway let's get down to this valley so look, as i said it is steeped in mining history and uh, you can see there's a stack there dead ahead so we're going to have a look at that I swear if there's any movement in the camera there i'm hoping that there isn't but uh, you never know. So you can see that there's a stream here and uh, the stream possibly would have powered some stamps down in the valley. There looks like a massive granite, a massive granite coin there. Which looks fascinating. So let's, uh, let's continue down to this valley. Got a little plaque here about the miner. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll get you a shot of that. So you can probably read that a bit later on. I'll pause it, folks. And uh, that'll be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Right, so we're heading down into this valley. I'm gonna have to move that bottle because it's pulling me trousers down. <laughs> which is not terribly good, is it? So we've got some remains down here. I think we can actually gain access to that. So we'll go and have a look. <coughs> so it seems to be quite a popular place. It looks like this, um, I don't know, I think that could be a Kelsiner over there, folks. I'm not sure at the moment, but uh, I'm sure we'll uh, find out in a moment. So this is Saturday, and uh, we were live last night talking about uh, some changes to the channel, which uh, are going to have to come because of, uh, obviously, work commitments and what have you. But, um, and it's definitely a lot colder now, so... So hopefully we can get over to this build. I think we can, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I think there's a, a small bridge or something we can gain access to it. Which is quite interesting. We've got a few people about here today. So, I can't remember how I got over there, you know. It's been an absolute age since I was here, so people, you do forget things sometimes. I think it might be through here, actually. Could be down through here, folks. Yeah, I think so. Right, there we go. Right, does look like a fairly well-worn path, doesn't it? Now where's the brittle bridge thing? Is it there or why bug it up? I don't know. I think I might have popped up there actually. Yeah. We've made a mistake folks, we've got to go back. So it does look like I've made a mistake. Could be wrong. Anyway. Let's just continue down here folks. We get told off, we get told off, isn't it? 
just have to roll with it I'm afraid sorry about the wind noise if you can hear any uh, do you know what I think I need to backtrack pretty sure I need to backtrack here a bit so I think I might have made a mistake but but hey ho it is what it is eh folks right have we made a mistake oh no this, this looked like an animal track doesn't it it's a bit of movement in the camera I don't even know why right let's tighten it up a bit Hopefully that might have cured the problem of like horse poo and stuff here, so we've probably made a mistake on this one. <laughs> probably. Oh, there's a gate there, so there's a gate down here. Yeah, I think we've made a mistake. <laughs> Typical Kerno style, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Right, so it looks like we've got to climb over this gate. We've made a mistake. We've gone through a bit of a farmer's field thing. <laughs> oh well, it all adds to the uh, enjoyment, doesn't it? What, what? Right, so, got to go through here. Okay, so it's already open anyway, so. It's all good, folks. There you go. How's about that? Right, let's... Uh, Let's have a look at these mine remain buildings. Here we go, here's the lovely bridge, the stream. Beautiful, eh? And uh, danger mine shafts. Duh. Right. So I do remember coming up here uh, many, many years ago and uh, having a look at this site. It's. Uh, it's quite interesting, um, actually. Good place to do a little, like a bug out camp, because you've got like a little roof over your head. I think this is a Kelsoner, but without having a good look, I don't know. Yeah, so you've got remains of a building right there. Uh, I think that could be the Kelsoner right there, actually. And I think this was probably water driven um, because if you look on Google Maps you can see there's like a little leak that's coming down obviously it's not active now but uh, it does look that's what it is or was so yeah right a little bit precarious here feeding is not it's not good you've got to step over massive steps in that so if you're not very good on your feet you're not going to be able to get up here I don't think but uh, yeah here we go so we're virtually on it now so we're going to be here for an hour or more folks so this might be quite a long-winded video today right so I think this is a a calciner which is where they would have produced uh, arsenic it's quite interesting my keys are digging in my my leg oh, that's better okay so this building obviously has been left for quite a long time and uh, we can see through here, you can see more than I can see, folks. So, yeah, quite interesting, isn't it? So we've got a bit of a iron bar there. So, so it looks like some stabilisation work has been carried out here in recent times. Yeah. So we could actually gain access around that way, so we'll give it a go, I think. And uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Isn't it? So have looked, let's have a look through here a moment. So here we've got stream. And we've got a bit of a uh, iron work still there. Look, see that? Good lord. 
Right, could possibly have been a water wheel here, more than likely, until I look into that. I'm not going to know, but obviously there was some kind of engine here because of the chimney and it looks like you've got a flue there look. so yeah i'm pretty sure this is to do with calcining uh, so we've got some nice old steps here now i think what we can do now is we can sidestep over here and have a look here folks and this is quite interesting isn't it yeah, this is quite clearly a... You can see that's been, that's been heavily burnt there, folks. You know, um, oh, look at this. Wow. Still got the original boiler plates that are in situ. Can you see that, folks? See that? See the holes in that? That's quite interesting, isn't it? So... Let's, um, let's climb inside. Ooh. Yes, we're in. So yeah, this, this is for roasting ore, folks. This is quite a crude construction compared to like what we're used to, because I think this is an older one, a lot older than the ones that we've seen already. You can see that that's probably where they would have shoveled the coal in to get it hot. And, uh, this is the flue right here. So we've just climbed through the flue, which is the flue where the fire would have been. And you can clearly see that this has been really hot in the past. So we're going to climb through here again now. Let's go. Oh, get down. Get down with it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, side of the building there. Yeah, so this, this here would have been connected to that chimney up there so this probably would have been hot for days you can still see it's part of the flue or the labyrinth there amazing eh so we've come to a conclusion now that this is what is left of um quite a, quite a big calciner here and it probably predates the one that we're from there's another doorway there for when they would have cleaned out the uh, the flue for the arsenic. So, oh, it looks like somebody might have been uh, camping in here. Well, it's almost guaranteed, isn't it? Yeah, someone has been spending the night in there. So I think this is part of a, like a labyrinth. Someone's obviously been roughing it around here. So we've got some kind of old, like a lamp. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? So, We're going to walk down through the valley in a moment and uh, we'll just look up here a moment. This is the flue here, folks. Can you see that? So, uh, it's pretty amazing stuff, eh? So I think we'd better take some, uh, some pictures because uh, we're probably not going to come back here for a little while. taking some pictures a minute right. so we've got other buildings up here um, I'm not really sure if we can get to them or no but we might have a look all right just going to take a couple more pictures a minute folks and then we'll move on down through the valley okay Right, so what we'll do now is we will backtrack and we'll head down through into the valley. Now there is some things of interest down there, which we need to look at. 
So let's get a motor on, shall we? Alright, so if you do come down here, um, if you're not very good on your feet, then, you know, I would reconsider it because there's a lot of big steps and uh, it's a little bit awkward. So this is why we do these things for you guys. So you don't need to come here, really. You can probably walk down through the valley, but I think walking up through here to have a look at this is not for everybody. Hopefully you can hear me okay today. I'm using the GoPro 12 with the... Um, battery extender um, handle with a media mod so I have got the fluffy thing on so hopefully there's not too much wind noise so I've got rock steady stabilization on so it should be nice nice footage for you hopefully he says <laughs> but uh, yeah this bit here is a bit awkward, folks. But there you go. All right, we'll have a look at that other building there before we leave this site. Site area. So this would have been quite a busy place back in the day. Probably would have been quite a few people here working on, uh, on this site. Now, I have been made aware that there is a couple of adits down in the valley here, which you can gain access to, but I don't have any equipment with me today. I have a light, but uh, I'm not venturing in there with a helmet or without somebody with me, folks, because that's the... It's, it's the rules, basically. Don't go underground without somebody with you and without someone else knowing where you are. So we always stick by these rules. Right, so as you can see, look. Danger mine shafts keep the footpaths. Well, yeah. But uh, you gotta know what you're doing. Put it that way. So we've got more, more stuff here which is quite interesting. We've got a, a wall here, which is probably the same date as that building there just above us, as you can see it. That does look very interesting, doesn't it? You know, history folks, history is everywhere. So I'm just going to walk down here briefly because we might be able to walk back to that building, but I don't think we can, according to what I can see here at the moment. No, I don't think we can. So, on that, there's water flowing there. So where's that coming from? Interesting. Very interesting, isn't it? Right. There's like a little pit there that... It's, it's just amazing what what you can see um, when there's not so much uh, growth in the way. Oh, wait a minute. That looks quite intriguing, that does. It's a possible, possible drainage at it. Without uh, properly investigating it, we're not going to know. So we're not going to worry about that today so right I hope you're enjoying this so far um, you're discovering things at the time that I discovered them as well so all good over the bridge massive granite coin so now we're going to walk down into the valley which uh, I think is going to be very interesting. So I might cut the video in a minute, folks, just briefly, but uh, it won't be too long. Promise. Old narrow miners trackway. 
Right, okay. Oh, fly in the eye. Okay. Oh, I nearly stepped in doggy's poo then. Nearly. It's a nice quiet place to live, isn't it? Bet they've had a lot of people asking, is it for sale? Bound to, haven't they? So we've got uh, a couple of donkeys here, look. They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> right. Let's continue down. So this was very clearly a miner's footpath back in the day. I think uh, that these mines down here were probably worked well over a hundred years ago. It's These are very old workings down here. Right, hopefully you can't hear the wind noise because there is a little bit, folks. Right. Kenda Jack Valley. So that's where we are, folks. So that's where we're going to walk down now. And uh, hopefully we can document a few things. Now I can see the Isles of Scilly on the horizon from here, which is quite interesting in its own right. Oh, wow, look at this. So this here is a a dam and they would have used that for um, the mill which is at the bottom so they would have controlled it with the sluice gate there which you can see the remains of it it's quite interesting actually I never noticed that before I don't think that's a I don't think that's a new thing I, th I think that's been there a long time you can see that it's been stabilized a few years ago very interesting Right, it's going to get a bit wilder down here. Okay, so I'm back again just to let some folks go by. So we are further down now in this valley that is steeped in mining history. So we can see just over in the distance that's Cape Cornwall. And uh, as the plaque said back there, water is a friend here because it gives you power to work some machinery but also an enemy because it can destroy things as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go right down to where the stationary engines are and then hopefully we can fly the drone from there just for a short time. Like I said, if you are coming down here, you've got to be very good on your feet. So we've got remains of an engine house here and another building there, which possibly would have been the boiler house. Nicely cut granite stone, folks. You can imagine it must have took ages to make them blocks like that. So we've got some archway here, uh, possibly a flue for water. Just see it right there. Very interesting. If we had our waders on, we probably would have ventured in and had a look, but uh, we don't have those, unfortunately. Not with us anyway. So 
we've got some remains here. Uh, possible remains of an engine house right there, folks. That look, does look like it. That looks like the shaft down there as well. And then we've got these blocks here that are being put here very crudely. Uh, don't really know what the history is of those, to be honest. We've got the engine house right here. That would have been possibly a winding engine house, which I think it wound from the shaft. There's a shaft up top of here, I believe. So I think the wire rope would have went across the valley here. So we've got all this broken stone here, which has been brought up from deep underground. And uh, here we've got a retaining wall with what looks like possibly um, a sluice and it probably would have been like a wooden platform for the river to go into there which is long since gone so we are walking on history here now so down here we've got another building which looks to me like a water pit water wheel sorry which is very interesting. I wanted to come and have a look at this one for ages. So we've got more, more foundations here, folks, for various things. Could be buddles, stuff like that. That's what I'm thinking. Could be powered by water. That's what we're kind of thinking. So it's a little bit blowy down here, so I'm hoping you can hear me nice and clearly. So we've got some ironwork down here and you can see the spoil tip right there folks so there probably would have been a narrow gauge tram track up through here uh, without a doubt the amount of industrial archaeology here is just amazing Right, so here we are folks, we're pretty much at the end here and as we can see, we can see the stationary engines which I knew they were there, I've got pictures of those from years ago, so we'll get some more pictures hopefully if we can get across. I don't know if we can cross that or no, so. But there's remains, I do believe that is a water wheel and it would have powered a crusher or something like that. Without doing some research, we're not gonna know, folks. Uh, I don't know if I can get across or no, to be honest. Um, we might be able to go over there, so we'll give it a go, I think. We can't not just come down here. To take pictures, like you know, you can see that uh, it's quite an old construction. Concrete there looks like 30s, 40s, could be even 50s, could be, can't be ruled out, right. Can we get over? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, folks. So I'll just take a couple of pictures from that because I don't think they've come down here for a day or two. So now we're going to look around up here. See if we can see anything of interest and uh, go on from there. Now, should have worn my wellies really, but I didn't. It's like that sometimes. 
Well, we might be able to get across over there actually. I'm thinking about it. I'm sorry about the wind noise if you can hear it. Yeah, I think we could probably cross down there. I think uh, we will have to come back around here and have another nosy at some stage. There is a lot of things here, folks, which we're not going to get all on video today, unfortunately. Mm. Okay, so it does look like people have been getting across down here. A bit there and over. Okay, we're on. <laughs> Pretty precarious. Filming the same time as well is a bit awkward like. I think we made it. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> oh Right, now we can have a proper look. Right, looks to be possible Lister twin cylinder diesel and uh, We've got this mechanism for winding. No, that's a compressor, isn't it? Yeah. That's a compressor. That is. Wow. Brilliant stuff, eh? I have seen this one before. It's been it's been a while since I've seen it. But uh, it is looking a bit precarious say the least. So what I'm going to do a moment is uh, put you on the tripod and okay so we're at the top now. Boy have I got a sweat on. <coughs> Phew. So, this is Cape Cornwall area, and uh, it was said many years ago that they thought that this was Land's End, but uh, they did some calculations and found out that this is not Land's End. But they did think it many years ago, folks. So we've got these quarries here, which are interesting. A mass amount of stone has been shifted from this area, as you can see. So you used to be able to park your car down in this bit, but the, they stopped it for a few reasons. Safety probably for one because of the cliff edge. It's a, just a sheer drop uh, I just thought I'd seen a dolphin then I thought I'd seen a dolphin then folks just out here Wow That would be cool wouldn't it?
so this is the end of uh, today's walking part anyway but uh, there's going to be a bit of uh, aerial photography at the moment so hope you enjoy that and uh, I'll see you later folks thanks for watching don't forget to share like comment and if you are new please subscribe and if anybody wants to buy me a coffee there will be a link in the description here comes the drone flight see you in a bit choose a god <laughs>